Hey guys, so this is an update on the mini Thunderbolt project. Uh, last time we had this small chopper tube and small horn. Well, stuff, was, a lot has happened since that video. When I made the rotator box in the program, the tube was a lot smaller and made the rotator box look massive. And the horn as well. So I scaled stuff up, and here's where we are now. This is temporarily put together, like there's only a, a drop of super glue right here, really. So, because I just want to have this part when I re, uh, get the rotator motor working and all that, which I'll be getting the motor tomorrow. It's an 18 RPM, 12 volt turntable motor, and it will go right there, underneath there. Uh... Yeah, look, it's it's not the best. This is the this box is temporary. The shelf is not. But when I was running out of filament and I didn't have time to switch it because it was three in the morning and I didn't feel like doing that, so I just melted that so it fit temporarily for a test, and then eventually I'll reprint the box. So back to the main bolt. This took. A day and seven hours to print, I believe. They don't quote me on that. I, was, I printed this a while back. But you can, it, it's in three sections, essentially. So you have the horn and the cap. That's one piece. I can pull this off. This is super. The horn is super glued to the cap. And then it is screwed into the support, support part. And then you can take off the support, the whole support part, because it is screwed in there, there, that one's cracked. Four screws there. And then this, this, the other part of the tube in this, it's, uh, it's a whole piece too. Uh, you can see there's a gap there, but that's only temporary, because it's just temporarily put together for now. So, I'm working on a blower. This is a roots blower sale. And a new design might be coming, but for now, I'm going to be using this. It's a blower fan from a projector, I believe, that I got it from. It's all 12 volts, so this will be 12 volts. This chopper motor is 12 volts, and the rotator motor will be 12 volts. And as you can see here, I have a 36, this is a 36 to gear 8. Oh my god, I can't speak, sorry. Uh... 36 to 8 gear ratio, so it will rotate at 4 RPM. I like 4 RPM, it's not too slow, it's not too fast. And then, this it looks really ugly, but this part will go here. I'll just glue that on there. It'll go on, but yeah. And then here's the top. Let me stand this back up. Here's the top, that'll go there. And that'll get glued on. I still need to make the front. So yeah, um, I guess I'll give it a test. It's pretty loud. Uh, an RCM is in the process of being made. With me and my friend have been chatting back and forth. So here goes, 12 volt motor, and then the wire. The wire's pretty long, but it'll work. So here we go. Especially with the horn. And it'll get even louder with the addition of the blower. So that's all I got to show you guys for now. Oh, and for reference, here's the old horn. And it really fits inside the new horn. That's how much bigger it is. So that's all I got to show you guys. I uh, hope you enjoy this Thunderbolt video. And I'm pretty sure this is the biggest 3D printed uh, mini Thunderbolt on YouTube so far. Yeah, I'm not... Okay, 3D printed. I say 3D printed because I know Tyler Davis has the gigantic 1003. That's why I say 3D printed because I'm pretty positive it is. From the videos I've seen, the chopper tubes are like this big. Maybe smaller. And mine is this big. I'm going for the black and white scheme. And I'll see you guys later.